shoot him in the head. <laughs> Why are you sweating? When I see that thing run through these bushes. <laughs> well, I'll take two steps for him to get to the area. <sighs> you see how, how quick he crossed the road the log. When you do that is in two seconds he'll be on top of us. <laughs> I might actually be shaking, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm shaking. <laughs> I wet my pants. <laughs> the cameraman wet his pants. <laughs> he was at about 20 yards in the thick brush. But when he stepped out and when he found that we were here, he got out to about 12 yards on us. charged by a rhino. He got lions out here, but the worst thing is the thorns. From the camera angle you've just seen, the arrow appeared to enter straight a little far behind the front shoulder. In reality, this was a perfect quartering away shot as the arrow penetrated at enough angle to slide between the ribs penetrating an estimated 21 inches into the lower lungs. As you just saw, we got a great quarter and way shot on this elephant. 
He's about 30 yards and we've reached the lower lungs. With an animal this size, we've decided to lay off the tracks, give him just a little bit of time. We went back to camp, got the owner, Tim Schultz, headed back out, started looking for this elephant again. Now, we realized that he was still on his feet and we've got two problems. He's in the thick, thick brush where I can't shoot my bow and we've got about an hour left of light. I fly out tomorrow, so we've got to get this done. We did a little track and tried to get closer on the elephant to get that final bow shot, but just couldn't make it happen. The elephant, my, own, my uh, PH Tim says that we'll be dead by morning, but we need to get this done now. So I've decided to take the gun and go ahead and finish him off right here. After my elephant is down here in a minute, you're actually going to see that the fletching is still sticking out of his side. Now, that was done after the elephant was done. We just wanted to make sure you realize that. We stuck the arrow shaft back in the hole so that the skinners wouldn't cut themselves when they started processing the mud. Too thick in here and dangerous. That's intense. <laughs> you see this uh, from packing mud in here. Yeah. They pack mud, and there's a pot fly. It's a fly, and it goes comes out of the mud and goes down into the throat and it eats all the bacteria. Oh yeah. It's very necessary for elephant survival. I appreciate your being here. I wish you come back again. They say it's Zimbabwean tradition right here. <laughs> this way. To claim your elephant. Yeah. Oh, that's a good knife. <laughs> Someone I mean they shot an elephant, cut the tail, came in the morning. The elephant is gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I've sometimes seen bull elephants with no tails. No tails. Blaming my elephant. Thank you very much. That ends our hunt here in Zimbabwe. It's been a long trip, but an exciting trip. We've had a great time. We finally got just an unbelievable bull down. I want to thank Cobus, Tim, and the Biggs here. Also, all the other guys, it's been an exciting trip. It's just, it's an unbelievable trip that you want to make to Zimbabwe. Look up African Dream Safaris. We'll give all the information at the end of the show. Again, it's been an unbelievable trip here in Zimbabwe. All we need. Woo! We hope you enjoyed today's show. If you're interested in hunting Zimbabwe with Tim and Bianca Schultz of African Dream Safaris, you can book your hunt through Rex Bernie of Rex's Dream Hunts at www.huntwithrex.com.